Hey, there's Santa here. <laughs> that didn't work. Today, we're gonna be breaking down the brand new feature that Tana just released, which is the brand new calendar view that rhymes. And the previous ways in which we could visualize things in Tana before were list, tables, cards, tabs, and now the calendar view, which allows you to have this nice grid, this nice calendar in both monthly, weekly, and also daily, which is my favorite, because in here you can grab a task and you can drag it into the part of the day where you want to schedule it so you can organize and time block things inside of Tana. So if you're not using Tana as your task manager, I highly recommend it. I actually have been developing my system and I'm finally ready to share it. So I will show you how I'm using this feature within my task management system. And in case you're interested to save some time, I also made it as a template, which I'll talk more about later in the video, but you can find it in the description. So with that said, let me take you to my Tana and let me show you the cool stuff that I've been able to achieve in there. Let's go. Well, I actually need my computer for this, so yeah. <laughs> All right, so here is my workflow for tasks. This is the actual one that I use, and this is what I call my Pi task system. I will talk more about it later because you can get this as a template now. Very excited to share it with you. But the way that this works is that here I have completed tasks, right? So completed task is a calendar, and now I can keep track of all the tasks that I've completed every week. And these are some demo ones in my main setup. I have a bunch more, but yeah, this is pretty cool because now you can visualize things in week. And now you can see everything that you've achieved that week and day, right? And of course, here I have some like just funny dummy, <laughs> like dummy, dummy examples, right? So yeah, wake up in panic, <laughs> run away from zombies and so on. So this is fairly simple to set up. I will show you right now how it works. You just need to click on date fields. If you don't see this option, there will be a button that says more. You can enable date fields by just checking it and then you'll be able to see this. And all you need to do in here is just click on done time, right? So this will keep track of when have you checked off the box to complete a task, right? Which is fairly simple to achieve. And once you set that up, you'll be able to see your task and the times at which you set it up in the different views like week and month. And just so you know, like you might use some different checkboxes for different purposes. And by checkboxes, I just mean like literally checking off the task like that, just clicking on this checkbox. So something that might be useful is for you to decide, okay, I only want you to consider the ones that are related to the to-do super tag, which is what I do. You might have different purposes for these. You might create different filters depending on what you want to filter by. But even if you don't have this, it will just show you every single every single checkbox that you've marked as done. And that's how that works. So this setup is super cool because that allows you, if you do weekly reviews, you can see like all the tasks that you have, you have achieved for the week, every day, you can keep track of what have you achieved that day. And what's also really cool is that you can also kind of keep track at what time you you wake up or at what time you end up doing something. So in a way, it's almost like a time tracking system as well, which is pretty nice because it tracks the time, the exact time at which you check off that particular box. And just so that you see how it works, I'm gonna add a new task in here and I'm just gonna say, so here I created a new task and I'm just gonna mark it as done. There we go, so it's out of here. And now if we go to completed tasks, then you'll be able to see that if I scroll down, we can see exactly the task. And if we see it on the daily view, it's even better. We can see, okay, yeah, we just completed this particular task. So that feature alone, I think it's amazing. And I will show you some more of my setup here in Tana. So that's how you keep track of completed tasks in Tana with the calendar view, which is so much better because in the past I was doing weird things to be able to see how many tasks have I achieved today. So this makes me really happy. Hope it makes you happy too. Let's get to the other use case, which is something that a lot of you will be interested in, which is setting up due dates for different tasks. So let's check it out. All right, so right now I want to show you a really nice workflow in which you can set up due dates and you can visualize these due dates on your calendar or on your daily page so that you can see like, oh, there's a task assigned for today and it's gonna be really cool, I will show you. So the way that we set this up is we need to enter a field. And by the way, to create a field, you need to use this shortcut. And in here, we're gonna just write due date, right? There's already one built into Tana, so we're just gonna enter like that, right? Now, just so you know, I usually would add this into the super tag, but right now I'm just trying to keep it simple so that you understand what's going on. Now, what happens is that we can also do that in here. So due date. Now, let's say that we want to do this today. We just do the add symbol and enter. And here, like we could also write tomorrow, for instance, right? But right now, I just want to see both of these on today. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the day page, right? So here we go. 
right here. And here we have a demo of what we want and I will show you how to set it up. But when I expand this, you will see a calendar and you'll be able to see the two tasks assigned for today. And obviously you can do week view, which is quite nice, or day view. And that way you can see it there. And so what's really cool is that you can also drag and drop to whatever time you want to achieve these tasks. And what's really cool is you can also expand them so that it takes longer and you can click on them to see the exact times they were assigned and you can also rename them and so on. So that's pretty cool to show this so that it appears every day so that if I go to next day, it also appears there, right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna delete the one that I had in here already and we're gonna create a new one, right? So we're gonna go to the day tag, configure and here's where we're gonna set this up. And what I'm gonna write is the following. I'm gonna do the command, uh, control K to open this and I'm, we're gonna do find notes with field due date and just enter, enter so that it appears as a list. Now we're gonna change this into calendar. And finally, we're gonna just click on day right here so that it shows us the daily view. And just in case, I'm gonna click on this one as well, right? So there we go. Now we can just close this. And now when we expand on it, you'll see that it's already assigned and is already with the times that we've assigned on that particular task. So each task will already have its correct time frames that we would have set up either from here, from dragging and dropping, which is probably the best way, or if we write that on the original node. So let me just show you what I mean. Okay, so here I have a new task, <laughs> so my dog, and here we're gonna add another one of these, so do date. So yeah, usually you wouldn't have to add that every time because that would be added to the super tag. And in case you're interested to reuse the setup that I built, more information on that later and on the description. Right, so now what we're gonna do is in here, we're gonna start writing today. And now we're gonna press tab, right? That auto completes today or tomorrow or whatever you write. And we can say add uh, 14, right? Which is 2 p.m. And now we can just select that option and there we go. And now when we go back to our daily page, you can see that once I expand this, this automatically has been added into 2 p.m., right? So actually I need to do this a bit later because already 2 p.m., <laughs> but yeah, so you get the idea. That's how it works. And the cool part about setting it up in the way that we did with the super tag day is that now when we go to next day, this is also gonna be there. And of course, tomorrow is gonna be tomorrow and it's gonna show you tomorrow's tasks, right? But today is today, so you get the idea. <laughs> All right, now let's talk about your favorite part, which is the limitations. <laughs> so one of the first things that you do need to keep in mind is that it won't yet connect with Google Calendar. I know that that'd be such an amazing feature. I really hope it comes in myself. I know you were reading the comments. You maybe you already commented without watching this part, like, oh, where's Google Calendar integration? Or like any integration with any other calendars. I really hope this is something that's gonna be coming in the future. I really don't know and I can't guarantee it, but I really hope it will. Now, the other thing, obviously, this is def definitely is gonna be coming eventually that's my guess which is recurring tasks right just ability to schedule a given task and say yeah repeat every monday repeat every tuesday at 2 p.m or repeat monthly on the second day of every month right so something like that obviously that's something that i believe is going to come and i'm very very excited for that as well so yeah i actually highly recommend you start using tana for task management if you aren't already and if you want to take a look at my system and the things that i've been showing you in this video then you can check out my template which is in the description and it's part of a bigger project that I'm building called Tana Central, which is a place where I'm going to be putting all of my templates as well as people, the best templates from all over the community, right? So if you're a creator, definitely reach out to me. We'd love to have your template in there to reach to more people. And if you're just a user trying to save time, then that's a place to be. So I really hope you check it out. I'm very excited to grow this project and take over the world with Tana because it's such an amazing app and it's growing at such a rapid rate. So yeah, I absolutely love it. I hope you enjoy that. So with that said, hope you enjoyed this feature. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy everything everything and go enjoy your life. See you later. Bye. Let me know if you like this background like this. Like I should I should just speak like this in a silhouette. Yeah right. Okay. Bye. <laughs>